And uh, let's move forward here. So let's let's uh, we're going to stick to really big picture stuff today. Um, just go over larger time frames. And I thought instead of me just coming at you like I do often and just giving you the levels and saying here's the trade and all that, um, we'll do some of this together. Let's start with the U.S. dollar. Um, I could tell you that. Uh, let me let me just uh, get this chart up for you. So if you've been with us in FX Street for a while, um, you know we, we've we've focused on this U.S. dollar chart often over the years. I think we've been doing this uh, the FX Street stuff here for about uh, more than three years. Believe it or not, it seems like just yesterday. I remember the first uh, first webinar, and this is like three, four years later. Amazing, and uh, you know, thanks. Uh, it's just great to have websites and companies like FX Street out there, being able to kind of put everybody together, and uh, it's great stuff. So, very recently, and and uh, you know, we we've come up to this supply level that you're looking at here in the U.S. dollar. If you remember back. Uh, Back last year and the year before, we've we've been trade we've had this level in here for quite a while at FX Street. We recently hit it again. We went over this last session, and now we're now we're declining. Okay, now now we're declining. So where is this decline likely to end? Um, we're going to go down to a smaller time frame to see that, and I think you'll see that we hit a level. Um, if we go down to a 60 minute chart, you're going to see we hit a level just today. But one thing I want to show you before we go to a different time frame in the big picture, the most important question is where, where is this thing going? Well, the key level that we have above is sitting right here. And this level is sitting just below another level. Uh, so this looks really good. Let me draw this in here, and then I'm going to share it with you. And I think it's really important that you have these levels on your charts as well. So uh, let me take the screenshot here. And there you go. So even though I would agree, I, some of you are probably thinking, well, this level's used up. There, there can't be any supply left. We traded all the way through this level. I agree. Okay, uh, but now we need to we need to reach a price level where demand exceeds supply to to kick off uh, another rally, uh, which I, which I think will happen. But when price reaches this 82.50 in the U.S. dollar, uh, I would expect a uh, a decline. You know, a pretty significant decline from there to to wherever the the nearest demand is going to be at that point. Okay, but you know you're going to have at least you know a, a, a point and a half, uh, maybe two full two full points at a minimum uh, of uh, downside room from here. Okay, so this is the next fresh supply level. This is I should say this is the current fresh supply level above current price now in the dollar. And uh may not seem like a big deal, but this is the first time, uh, given, given that we just traded all the way to the top of this level here, this is the first time in uh, about a year and a half that we can say we have a new fresh supply level in the larger time frames in the U.S. dollar. Okay, We've done very well trading off this level, um, but I would argue that it's done. We've already traded all the way through. The logic behind that for new members is that, the, the the sell orders or supply that was in this level uh, simply can't be there anymore if we traded all the way to the top and through that level. If there if there were still a significant you know a significant amount of sell orders up here, uh, <clears throat> you know we wouldn't have been able to trade all the way to the top of that level. Okay. All right. So um, here's the next uh, supply level above 82.50. It starts at 82.50. So now. Let's uh, to to find demand below. You know the obvious level is sitting just above 78. But I want to share something with you. Um, we were able to take a short position this morning, uh, just a, just a small time frame short in the equity index future, specifically the Nasdaq this morning. And I will tell you, you know, this may sound a little crazy, but the main thing for the main thing for me with that uh, Nasdaq short from this morning, okay was that the dollar hit this little demand level. If you remember our last session at FX Street, we were looking at this level. I'm down to a 60-minute chart right here. Bashir, I see you're with us today. I'd be 
Very surprised if you didn't have this level. This here's one of our uh, really good Excel team members in the uh, Forex Trading Room and Online Trading Academy. So hitting the, the uh, hitting this demand level in the U.S. dollar at the same time the S&P was hitting that 1208 set up a, a, a pretty simple short-term short in the uh, uh, that we uh, took in the Nasdaq Futures and Online Trading Academy. Make sense? Okay. Uh, Jake, when you say quite a long level, you mean how much time price spent at the level there? And if that's what you're saying, I would kind of agree with you. And I'd also say this is a fairly ugly level. There's just nothing that pretty about this level. Uh, also, we now have a pocket of supply sitting just above. In fact, we've I would argue that we kind of have two levels sitting on top of each other. There's one. Blow this up a little bit. And while this area is very ugly here, um, there's a lot of congestion in here, kind of right in here. If you look at that area, when you, when you come down to a smaller time frame, you'll see it, it uh, you know, it, it looks pretty good. A lot of tight congestion of trading in there, and um, and then we drop, suggesting supply sees demand. So none of these are fantastic levels structure-wise, but... Um, they should they should do their thing. Remember, odds enhancer number one, this demand level had it. How did prices leave the level? Big, strong move out of that area, okay? 